Thank you for talking to us, sir, first of all. And uh, how was your meeting with Prime Minister Narendra Modi? And what were the big points that were discussed between both of you, sir? It's a, it's a great meeting. Uh, we're, we're so proud of our partnership with in India. We've been in India for 26 years. We have uh, over 12,000 employees in advanced R&D. We do a lot of our chips. We do a lot of the software. And we talk about many things that are very relevant, I think, to what we think about the future of technology. We talk about the 5G and acceleration of 5G. We talk about incredible opportunity to advance the industry, not only domestically in India, but India as an export of technology as we think about the digital transformation enabled by 5G combined with the design in India. We talk about semiconductors, which is kind of an in important, I think, topic of conversation. And uh, we talk about the opportunity to continue to build an incredible mobile ecosystem that it is developing in India. Very pleased with the conversations, and uh, we're very, very happy with everything we're doing together with India. In India, various reforms have been taken recently. That includes the PLI scheme and various other structural reforms in India. Do you think this will give a major push uh, to the PL, uh, uh, to the semiconductor sector, the 5G, the AI primarily? And of course, will this uh, give you uh, a point to invest or uh, build up the capacities as far as supply chain diversification is concerned? We, c we continue to invest in India in R&D. You know, we are a company that are 100% fabulous, so we don't manufacture our own semiconductors. However, we see a lot of activity right now uh, because of the uh, necessity to geo-diversify and build a very resilient supply chain for semiconductors. We believe India could be an important destination, and if that infrastructure is available in India, we'll be very happy to partner with India. Uh, you have invested massively in India, as you mentioned this point. That, and how has your uh, experience been in India as far as investment is concerned? It's been a great uh, place for invest, and in not only uh, to invest directly, but also to support uh, other companies. For example, we have built a Qualcomm Design in India program that would today we help 77 startup companies uh, in India designed based on our technology. We have been investing with our venture you know, uh, fund in new India uh, startups. And uh, we think we have been very successful uh, to date with all the investments we made in India. How do you look at Prime Minister Narendra Modi's leadership as far as boosting business and investment in India? I think the approach to drive economic growth uh, and make an India, a destination for, invest for investment, has been very successful, and we welcome that. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you for the opportunity. Thanks.